This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 2725. I'm your host, Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. Today's show is one where, you know, most of the time, when people think of age discrimination, it's toward older professionals. But you know, younger ones face it as well. And that's what today's show is about, dealing with age discrimination as a younger worker. Hope you find this helpful. Please give this show a great review wherever you listen to it or watch it. And I'm going to be revealing something very exciting next week that I think will help many of you land your next job. And I'll be back in just one moment. Enjoy! We all know that age discrimination is illegal in the United States. You can fight that if you're 40 years of age or older under the Age Discrimination and Employment Act. It's illegal to ask questions about age, race, gender, religion, and other protected uh, um, characteristics. However, as a younger worker, you're also subject to age discrimination as well. I'm Jeff Alton, the Big Game Hunter. People hire me for no BS coaching and career advice globally because I make things easier for people in their job search and other areas of their career. But I want to point out to you as I go into this, there are ways for you as a younger worker who's dealing with ageism to deal with it as well. And I'll start off by saying, I'm not talking to those of you who are recent grads because there is the additional issue of how much do you really know about the workplace that you're going to be entering? What experiences do you have that are going to prove to an employer that you're qualified to do the job that they need to have done? For many of you, it's next to non-existent except for coursework, and companies often devalue the coursework as being somewhat simple. So for those of you who have some amount of experience, here are four ways that you can deal with it because you're not eligible for the EEOC or other legal entities to fight in that way. So the first thing is don't draw attention to your age. It may be obvious, and I'll speak of myself, who always looked older than I actually was, and now that's not a great quality to have at my age, but that's a different conversation. But age is something you shouldn't be highlighting on your resume or in your interviews. Focus on your skills and experiences and let your qualifications speak for themselves. Stay current on trends in technology. This is particularly important today as we're evolving into AI-centric work. And I'll simply say, where you can take time to get some professional wins synthesizing artificial intelligence into the workplace, you're going to stand out from older workers. Focus on your experience is the third thing. One of the best ways to combat ageism is to focus on experience, highlighting achievements and successes in your resume and interviews, and showing potential employers that you have skills, knowledge, and experiences, and now with AI, that you can incorporate this technology into your workplace. And the last thing I'm going to bring up is your attitude. Attitude is incredibly important to how well someone performs on interviews. It's really easy to get down and to feel defeated. But I'll I'll simply say, you can defeat the biases that exist against you. And I'm going to encourage you, get some support from others. There are groups and forums, and Reddit, of course, where you can connect with other people who are going through similar things to you, and you can find out how they've been dealing with it. Don't get involved in the arguing and and the super critical stuff about the world is against you. Focus in on solutions. Win. That's the most important thing. I'm Jeff Altman. Visit my website, thebiggamehunter.us. There's a ton in the blog that could help you. Plus, you can find out about my video courses, books, and guides. Again, a lot there that'll help. 
Also, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Mention that you saw the video. I like knowing I'm helping some folks. Also, at my website, the blog is phenomenal, and you can schedule time for a free discovery call or to have your questions answered by me through Trusted Advisor Services. Have a terrific day and be great.